If you recognize even one of these signs, you're more powerful than 99% of the chosen ones. The first sign is being attuned to your emotions and sensitive to others. This might come off as weak or cowardly, but is actually a big sign of your uniqueness. Have you ever been called weak or sensitive? Brush the naysayers off, but never ignore your emotions. Being in tune with your emotions and sensitive to other people's feelings is a clear sign of the life of Christ flowing within you. Even Christ himself, the head of the church who came to take our place and shoulder all our sins, had to demonstrate the wonder of emotions. He showed deep emotions in many instances and even wept. It takes someone who's attuned and sensitive to emotions to both physically and spiritually stand in the gap for the whole world. He proves this by dying for you and I on the cross, not holding back a thing. You've probably been ridiculed for your sensitivity, but fear not because that is God within you, opening your eyes to his love for you. I know love is primarily viewed in the carnal light. But just stay with me for a second. The love, I mean, is quite special. That's what it takes to put off righteousness and die as a filthy sinner. It's pure love without strings. That is what his son demonstrated on the cross, because he did just that and became us and our sins, so we can be free of it all. A clear sign that you are one of the most powerful of his chosen is how you feel and how attuned you are to the energy of what goes on around you. An example is, perhaps, you're out with your friends and something is said that resonates profoundly with you. You find you're musing and mulling over the thing more deeply than anyone else and wondering if you're doing too much. I assure you that you are not. You were made in the light of his love, and that love lets you process things on a broader spectrum. This ability to feel things more profoundly is especially marked as a critical component of God's love expressed through you. In this stage, you begin to feel more attuned to your emotions and those around you. This includes the things that people say or do. This also translates to the things you say or do, and can either be a blessing or a challenge. You can process your own emotions with feelings that very few people can feel genuine empathy for. You become a passionate friend and an attentive listener to those around you. While this is beautiful, it can be a challenge if you are surrounded by toxic people because they will ridicule you. You will easily become overwhelmed as the negative energy flowing from them will dampen your energy. Well, it's pretty easy to resolve this challenge. You can employ practices like meditation, prayer, and constant words of affirmation for essential emotional stability. As you go about your life feeling every energy in the atmosphere, bask in the knowledge of your power, even amongst chosen ones. You will be able to live a life of depth and awareness that many others will never experience. Remember that you are okay just the way you are. You are a chosen one. Now, on to the second sign, a beacon of hope. How often do strangers tend to get attracted to you? Not in a fleshly kind of way, but they just see you as a beacon of hope, as a light in the darkness. Quite often, right? You don't need to be out off by that anymore. There's simply a spiritual energy coming off you that makes them feel they can trust you. Do you know what that is? Not to worry. We'll get into this in a few seconds. Have you been in a mall, doing your shopping, and a stranger walks up to you, offering up some unsolicited information that left you wondering what made them comfortable enough to do that? I am here to tell you why. One of the most important perks of being the most powerful, even among God's chosen, is His divine light constantly radiates through you. After your spiritual awakening and the Holy Spirit of God dwells in you, His light 
not only illuminates your path, it also radiates hope to people around you. You might feel like they are strangers, but to them, they think they can trust you due to the spirit that lives inside of you. People become drawn to you because they feel you have something to offer. This can be either those who need your wisdom on a challenge they're going through, or even those who are guided by hostile forces to try and muddy your waters or divert you from your part. But as the Bible tells us, we have the spirit of discernment to not only know the truth and decide what is truth. Note that everyone who approaches you has good intentions towards you. Discernment lets you see who helps and who to stay away from. Let's continue with the earlier example. Someone walks up to you, telling you about their problems and personal challenges. Although this may seem like a random coincidence, it is not. God set the ball in motion so that you give them what they need. It could range from comfort, guidance, wisdom, or financial help. It could be anything, but they need you at that point in their lives, so they've sought you out as a beacon of hope. These encounters are not random. They are a clear sign that you are chosen for a greater purpose. To be a beacon of something, one must possess it to give. The light within you shines brightly, illuminating hope, love, and forgiveness to you and all who need it. It is an essential trait that lets you know you have been hand-picked for a greater purpose and are one of the most powerful chosen ones. The third sign that you are one of the most powerful of the chosen is your intuition. Often, we are overwhelmed with a sense of being, direction, and course of action to take, and we aren't sure why. You feel strongly inclined towards a specific choice and have apparent feelings on the matter without prior notice. You have a unique ability to predict things before they happen, which often shocks you and the people around you. When faced with problems, you're often calm and confident that it'll work out in your favor. This capacity to see beyond the natural indicates your deep spiritual awareness. Your intuition allows you to read people and environments very well. You can enter a room and accurately read the energy, knowing who to trust and who to not. This sixth sense is not something you can just pick up. You possess a spiritual gift when you let the Holy Spirit into your life. It will protect and guide you in a very treacherous world. It helps you remain calm even in the face of despair. For example, when you lose an opportunity, your intuition tells you it is a chance for something better to come. When one door closes, your inner mind tells you another will surely open and not to despair. This initiation also manifests itself in small and everyday things. It can become a strange sensation when you're about to leave your house, leading you to change your plans. Only to discover later that you have avoided an accident or an unpleasant situation. It may also manifest in other ways, where you meet someone and know you can't see them without reason. You just know that you can. Your intuition could tell you they'll be essential to your life. While you may think everyone has this silent voice at the back of their mind, they do not. This is only reserved for the most powerful among the chosen. And if you've made it this far in the video, then maybe you. Your intuition can save you a lot of trouble if you listen closely to what it says. Being chosen doesn't with a manual, but I hope some of these would help you find yourself. The fourth sign that you are one of the most powerful of the chosen is how animals and babies act around you. You might wonder what being chosen has to do with this, but let me enlighten you. Animals and babies are often curious beings and can see things we do not. They are usually blessed with eyes and awareness that has grown dull in adult humans. Animals and children can tell when one has a calm and peaceful energy around them. If you notice that animals and children are often drawn to you, then this tells you that there is something special about your energy, 
your aura. This is mainly because they sense who they can trust. So if you notice even skittish animals are drawn to you, it is a clear sign that your energy and presence emit a welcoming feeling. This in turn makes them more drawn to you than they would be to an average person. For example, you may have noticed that your neighbor's cat, known for being extremely selective, feels comfortable enough to just crawl into your lap, or the dog that is usually wary of strangers immediately feels at peace in your company. It can even be that the park bench becomes a haven for chipmunks and birds when you're around. This means that you emit an aura that shows what is truly within. They show a trust that they don't show to just anyone. This is also the same for children who are susceptible to these energies. They have not yet been conditioned by what society deems as usual, making more instinctively and honestly. When a child feels comfortable in your presence, wants to be around you, or smiles at you for no apparent reason, this is a clear indicator that your energy is positive. Children can sense what is beyond the surface. The kindness and compassion inside of you make them want to be around you, even if you are a stranger to them. This ability to attract children and animals indicates that you are a chosen one. Your capacity for kindness, love, and compassion makes you a beacon of warmth to the most sensitive among us. The fifth sign that you are one of the most powerful of the chosen ones is your ability to feel comfortable being different or separate from others. This is a fundamental truth, highlighting a crucial aspect of being chosen. You may have felt out of place from a young age or know you needed to fit into traditional social groups. Your interests or perspectives do not align with what people would call normal. This feeling is no accident, as it indicates that your path lies ahead of the average person. It means you have a unique journey only you can follow. Throughout life, many people are overcome by the urge to fit in, struggling to be accepted by society. But this is not the same with you. You have a unique path that would make you stand out and be recognized as a chosen one. You do not need to compromise on self or judgment in any way. This willingness to defy the norm and walk your path demonstrates a confidence that can only be attributed to the spirit that dwells in you. For example, while your peers follow traditional roles, you might be inclined to explore less traveled paths. Don't question it. Do not be afraid. Your value will not be revealed when you conform but by remaining authentic. This authenticity marks the sense of the divine that lies within you. Daniel and his friends in the Bible were sworn never to spoil themselves with the king's food, aware of their lineage as chosen ones, and wanted to act like it. They would eat vegetables and other herbs and still ended up looking better than the other princes who gorged themselves on the food provided by the king. Daniel and his friends knew who they were and were comfortable being just that. They were proud to be sons of Israel and refused to see themselves any less. This demonstrates how they were able to outdo others even in captivity. They remained unified under one purpose, refusal to conform to the norm. Being comfortable in your own space is also another form of this sign. You prefer engaging in more profound, more meaningful endeavors. You do not like to engage in meaningless dialogue and would take a night in rather than outgoing partying and clubbing. You might want to question the validity of your actions and I'm here to inform you are on the right track. Another part of this is how you handle rejection. You do not let it go beyond the surface as you tell yourself that rejection is not the end. You remind yourself that you are destined for more incredible things. It is simply neither time nor the opportunity meant for you. You understand that being one of the most powerful of the chosen ones means walking a lonely journey with a clear purpose. This ability to embrace what makes you unique reflects your oneness with the divine. You tell yourself you were created for something more significant 
and this understanding keeps you moving forward. No matter the friends that fall off along the way, or the habits that need to die in sacrifice for your journey, you are ever aware of where you're headed and how important it is that you get. The sixth sign that you are one of the most powerful of the Chosen Ones is dealing with isolation. The Chosen Ones deal with isolation differently. For many people, they would instead do anything to avoid isolation, but a chosen person like you sees it as a valuable opportunity to grow and reflect on the things you can do better. Your ability to find value in solitude shows how deep you are and how connected and in tune you are with yourself. It shows your awareness of the unique journey that you are meant to follow. While most people feel lost and abandoned during isolation, you view it differently. You see these moments as a rare opportunity to reconnect with your inner self and become one with your emotions. Life can often be loud and distractions may occur. You see these times as moments to recharge your spiritual energy and reconnect with the divine. Instead of feeling restless, you handle it with grace. This is an indication that you are one of the chosen ones. You embrace the calm and peaceful atmosphere, using it to think back and meditate. The ability to turn isolation into a home of renewal and growth speaks exceptionally of your intellect and awareness of who you are. You're not dependent on the constant validation from other people, nor can you feel whole. Instead, you find strength and wholeness in yourself and the divine. This allows you to be comfortable in your company and come next with clarity of mind and a wholesome heart. It is not enough to be in tune with your emotions. You must be comfortable in your skin and understand that moments of isolation are tools for growth. The seventh sign that you are among the most powerful of the chosen is that you wake up around 3 to 4 a.m. most days. This phenomenon is known to many as the witching hour or the spiritual hour when it is believed that spiritual activity is at its peak. It is also perceived that the barrier between this realm and the next is at its thinnest. When you find that you wake up at this time, it is not just a coincidence. It is often a sign that the universe is trying to communicate with you. It is often a powerful time for prayer, medication, and other spiritual activities. If you tend to wake up at this time, you are very likely to get something significant. Perhaps some sort of spiritual guidance. One of the most powerful of the Chosen Ones is often tasked with much more than just the Chosen Ones. If you've experienced any of these, you're among the few. Being attuned to the happenings of the Spirit can be tricky as you are innately aware of other things that people are not. The Witching Hour has always been a time where both the spiritually excellent and evil occur simultaneously. If you find yourself in the morning, you have a divine hand to play your spouse's life. You have been tasked with a greater purpose. Imagine that you suddenly jerk awake at past three in the morning, feeling an urgency in your spirit and a strange alertness. Instead of trying to go back to bed, sit up and pray. You never know who could need your intercession at that very minute. Consider an opportunity to connect with your spiritual self and commune with your Creator. You could take a few minutes to reflect on several choices, meditate, or even pray for yourself and others to receive answers, deep peace, or valuable insights on several things that will be useful for you. Waking up at this time can also mean you are innately aware of the ongoing events in the spiritual realm and cannot ignore them even though your body is asleep. Allowing yourself to tune into these forces could answer lifelong questions and challenges and, and provide answers for paths to take in your journey. So be conscious of this time and use the opportunity to get to know yourself deeper. One of the clear and final signs that you are a chosen one is your unique and visionary mind. These eight signs are probably the most relatable of them all. The most powerful of the Chosen Ones have an innate ability to experience vivid dreams and visions. 
These dreams are not without meaning, and for the chosen ones, they are often a premonition of things to come. Warning, clarity on prayers, and many more. Have you ever had a dream that showed something that hasn't happened yet, and perhaps in a few days or however long, it later happened? Then this video is for you. This is a regular occurrence for the most powerful among the chosen ones. Their mind is so in tune with the cries of the universe that they often receive spiritual information that can come in the form of warnings. For these rare sorts, these dreams, albeit appearing as though they are without meaning in some cases, are anything but. They often wake up with a strong feeling that there was something more to their dream, and it was... It can come as a message or insight towards something meaningful. Their visions can be peculiar, predicting untold and future events, or revealing truths about their or someone else's life. These dreams and visions serve as light that guides them in their journey, informing them on what to do. The connection their mind has to a higher realm in the form of dreams doesn't come with a manual on how to work it. This often leaves them perplexed and filled with wonder as to how this sometimes works inexplicable to others. For those that experience it, the feeling is undeniable, and it feels as though they are connected to a higher force that shows them the way forward and provides clarity on the path to take. What makes this one of the most common among the rare is they do not just dream for the sake of it. Their dreams feel like windows into the spiritual realm showing them things they would never have thought possible. They often wake up to these dreams, musing and piecing them together, as they may not come as clearly as possible. In the Bible, the ability to dream of the future was so rare that it was regarded as a fantastic gift. We thank God that the Bible tells us He will pour out His Spirit on us on the last days, and we shall dream dreams. The window to the prophetic can tell us many things, and it has been known to save millions, hundreds of thousands. The uniqueness of this experience often gives these chosen ones a heightened sense of being. They are very aware of both the spiritual and the physical in such a way that they see things more clearly. Being a rare gem, even among the chosen, can be challenging, but thank God because He will not give you more than you can handle. The powerful among the chosen are blessed with understanding the world's way, seeing patterns often concealed by the ordinary mind. Having seen it, they also keenly understand how events will go. Their visions make them feel closer to the divine, making them conscious of their path, as being in tune with the divine sets them apart from the rest of the world. For powerful chosen ones, these dreams become a roadmap and function as tools to help them align with something greater than they are. As a chosen one, dreams and visions become another tool to communicate with the Divine, knowing He is ready to speak to you. I would like you to take a moment to reflect on your dreams. I'm sure there is a reason why you are here. Have you ever had strange dreams breaking out? In a cold sweat? Do you feel the hand of the divine in the dream, separate from your usual thoughts or dreams? As though they are coming from somewhere above, somewhere deeper. This is a sign that you are connected to something, attached to a being more significant than yourself. This is a sign that you can tap into a hidden power that you, too, can access. There are other vital signs that you are the most powerful of His chosen, and your unique mind takes the front seat. You are not afraid to take a stand and speak out His word as He lays it in your heart. Overall, you stay true to yourself. The chosen ones are the set of people hand-picked by the Father, and if you've made it this far, you too might be one of the most powerful of the chosen ones. If you experience these signs, I urge you to remain true to yourself. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged by what people say. You have a unique path that only you can walk alone, and even not alone. You are destined for a path that is much greater than yourself. 
You are saddled with a greater purpose and guided by a heavy connection to the divine. Each of these signs points to a journey you are destined to take. Please ensure you value these traits, use them to grow, help others, and fulfill your divine purpose. If these signs resonate with you, I implore you to continue pursuing a more profound sense of the spiritual and connect even more deeply with your inner self. While you walk your path, remember that many others are like you soldiers in God's army and generals in the force. While there are many more signs that this video didn't cover, all of the best parts fit in. Share your thoughts, experiences, and questions with me in the comments section. Also, like and subscribe. Until next time.